So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another React video in which we'll be seeing how we can implement conditional rendering in React. So conditional rendering basically just means that there should be a condition present in order for an, for an element to render. For example, if you're logged in, then show this. If not, then show that. As simple as that, right? So there's nothing fancy about it. We're just going to go ahead and implement it real quick. So we know in JSX, we cannot use pretty much everything. So what we could do for conditional rendering, let's say if I have a message, um, let's say if I have a message. So I'm going to say if um, name is admin and password is admin. I'm going to set message to hello admin otherwise I'm going to set the message to who are you right and now I can just pretty much go ahead and do something like message right so this would work just fine with the um, text notes so you see that the moment i write admin admin here it changed to hello admin automatically because it's re-rendering on every stroke because whenever you change a state variable the component re-renders if the template is using it right so whenever you change it that is whenever you call the set functions the the component re-renders it sees where it needs to update the state this got changed and our message got updated to hello admin so this is one way of conditional rendering. The other way is basically you can just inside the JSX itself, you can say that name is equal to admin and password is equal to admin, right? So if this expression is true in itself, then this and would be evaluated, right? So I'm gonna say who, uh, hello admin right here. So if I go ahead and save this now, what we're going to see is now if I write admin admin here, you see the message hello admin. So what you have to remember about conditional rendering in JSX is how short circuiting in JavaScript works. So short circuiting is basically a way of saying that if one is equal to one, for example, if I have a true condition and I write an and that is a double ampersand and if I write another true condition double ampersand a false condition right then nothing after this is evaluated so once I get a false condition nothing after this is evaluated right so if I even if I have console log I am not evaluated right so you see we get false so double ampersand actually looks for the first false condition and stops if it does not find the first fault condition in JavaScript, then what it does is that it actually returns the value from the last um, expression, right? So if I go ahead and move this console log and just the simple string and make this three, you see that we get the return value as I am not evaluated, which is the last expression, right? So if I had something like five here, you see that we got five. So double ampersand would keep looking, keep evaluating all the expressions until it finds the one which is false. In that case, it will return false. Or if um, the expression list is uh, exhausted, it's over, it will return the last value which it encountered. That is the last thing. So in this case, we got I am not evaluated as the return value. And if I wrote five here, we got five, right? So similarly, in this case, what's happening this is true, this is true, and we have hello admin as the string, right? So if these two statements are true, this value gets returned. And when this value gets returned, it's, it is actually just, it, it is just something like this, which is written, right? So it just writes it on the screen. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically it. So if you want a conditional rendering, what you could do is something like is logged in, something like this, and you know your user component. Something like this would work as well. So if this is true, 
then this would be evaluated now it does not matter what this thing returns what this expression would do is return whatever this returns right so this is how you're going to make use of the double ampersand for conditional rendering using jsx in react right so yeah that's pretty much it for this video what i wanted to discuss and if you liked it do not forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one